Welcome to episode 7 of Making Math Visible, brought to you by Math Accelerator Center. In this video series, we will be sharing with you effective and easy to remember strategies to solve problem sums. Hi everyone, my name is Chris Siu. I'm the Chief Trainer at Math Accelerator Center. Me and my trainers are a group of PSLE Math Turnaround Specialists who has been helping students to achieve breakthrough in their mathematics using our very own score system. To find out more about how we can help your child achieve breakthrough in their performance, do visit our website at www.parkwaymath.com. In this video, we're going to discuss a P5 question. This is based on the topic of whole numbers. It involves the number times value concept. The question is extracted from a 2017 P5 SA1 paper and the strategy we're going to use will be a mix of model drawing and calculation using value of a set. So let us begin by reading the question. Mary had some 20 cent coins while Jane had some 50 cent coins. Mary had 6 more coins than Jane. If the total of their coins is $8.20, how many 50 cent coins does Jane have? After reading the question, let us identify the keywords. So the first set of keywords is we understand that there are a set of 20 cent coins and another set of 50 cent coins. The second set of keywords, we know that Mary, who has the 20 cent coins, she has 6 more coins compared to Jane, who has all the 50 cent coins. The third set of keywords is over here. It states that the total value of their coins is $8.20. So based on these three sets of information, we will be able to find how many coins does Jane have. So step one, let's organize the information. So we're going to use comparison model to illustrate the difference between the number of 20 cents and 50 cent coins. So based on the question, we know that there are 6 more 20 cent coins compared to 50 cent. So this 6 coins has a value of $1.20. And we also know the combination or the total value of the 20 cent and 50 cent coins is $8.20. Step 2. We need to remove the, this excess of 6 20 cent coins. So after we remove the 6 20 cent coins, there will also be a drop in the total value. So $8.20 minus $1.20, that will give us $7. Step 3. Let us analyze all the information that is presented to us over here. So after we remove the 6 20 cent coins, there will be an equal number of 20 cents and 50 cent coins over here. What this simply means is, for every 20 cent, there must be a 50 cent. So therefore, the value of one set, which is the sum of one 20 cent coins and one 50 cent coin, that will give us 70 cents. Based on our calculation, we also know that the total value over here is $7. Next, we need to find the number of sets of 70 cents in $7. This simply means we divide $7 by 70 cents and that will give us 10. So we know that there are 10 sets. So let us try to solve this question. 10 sets simply means that there are 10 50 cent coins and 10 20 cent coins over here. So since we are looking for just the number of 50 cent coins that Jane have, we already solved the question. The number of 50 cent coins based on our calculation will be 10. So we have solved the question and lastly let's write it in proper statement. So Jane has 10 50 cent coins. We have come to the end of this episode. If you have any questions regarding this problem sum, please type it in the comments below. For more information about our program, please visit our website at www.parkwavemath.com Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.